Crime Reviews. I have fought alongside many brave warriors in my days, but none has been so loyal, faithful, nor assisted the Autobot cause as much as Omega Supreme. So here is the year of the snake, Transformers Platinum Edition, Omega Supreme. And it's far better than any Optimus Prime toy I've ever seen, which makes me hate him. Fat So here we have the amazing packaging for the Year of the Snake Omega Supreme. As you can see, it's got a lot of artwork, a lot of fancy gold symbols on the side, Autobot symbol. It's fancier than any package I ever got. And here's the only good thing about this package. There's a picture of me, and there's a picture of me. The rest of it sucks. And here he is in all of his awesome glory. Big fat robot. I must say he does highly resemble the war for Cybertron, Omega Supreme. Although, I don't know what the freak that's supposed to be. Apparently he changes into all of this other cool stuff and he can combine with me, which is the only cool thing about this toy, because I am involved. And here's some kind of thing, and some other weird kind of thing, I mean, what is he supposed to be anyway? And more fancy artwork, again, which is not of me, so I don't care. And for those of you morons who like to keep their toys inside the package, this has an easy open access front panel, which opens to reveal the shield. And there's Omega Supreme, wired into his little box. And there's more fancy artwork. And here we have Omega Supreme's amazing story. Year of the Snake, Omega Supreme. As a guardian of Cybertron, Omega Supreme is a conduit for the very energy of the machine world. He prefers to remain quiet and still, aloof from the petty conflicts of the Autobots and Decepticons. Yeah, right. Last time we went to an Energon bar, he got plastered. He wasn't so quiet, still, and aloof that night. But when the safety of his world is threatened, he awakens. And the mighty arsenal at his command shakes the foundations of the planet. Here he is in all of his big, fat, beefy awesomeness. Head to toe, he's a large toy. Although this is not some child's plaything, it's more of a collector's item, I think. It's more like a giant paperweight, in my opinion, but what do I know? Nobody cares what Optimus Prime thinks. Here's some of the detail. You can see his face inside of his little bubble because he's afraid to show his fat face. Here's his projectile launcher, which spins and fires with these mechanisms here. He also has no cannon arm, unlike the G1. Just a giant golden orange thumb thing. You turn this and it makes the weapons move. He also has this claw arm. Or picking up toys in a vending machine, apparently. And it can spin. So it has a dual joint in here that moves there and there. So it bends in two locations. A lot of detail in this figure is quite large. And if I understand correctly, he is a repaint from the Transformers Armada or Energon or, you know, one of those shows where my voice is not the same. His head can rotate 360 degrees, although the joint is quite stiff, but it will turn all the way around. His arm will rotate at the shoulder, will bend in and out, and up and down at the elbow. Rotates at the elbow, and that's pretty much it, because that is not a functioning hand. And pretty much the same thing on the other arm except for the added addition of the spinning claw toy. For his leg articulation, he has a joint here that bends in and out at about 90 degrees, maybe a little more. It also bends forward. Right there, bends again at the knee here, uh, and rotates at the knee. He also has an ankle pivot but will not go up and down. Still, not bad articulation for a toy of this magnitude. He does not walk and have lights and sounds like the original, but no one's perfect. And vehicle modes, and I use that term loosely, he can roll fairly well. He has turrets that rotate on the side. 
Crane rotates at the base here, and these things are here. And this piece opens up to do nothing. These little pieces operate like this, like little fingers I use. So for a battleship tanker thing, it actually looks kind of nice. The weapons rotate, and the turrets move up and down as well. And if I could find the two weapon projectiles that should have come with this figure, they would go in there. He's got tiny little satellites here that rotate up and down. And this weapon rotates. And it rolls semi-well. And this is supposedly what passes for a crane mode. And this supposedly passes for what's considered an artillery mode, which is basically his arms bent at the elbow in a different position and standing on his feet. They do have limited rotation and still have some movement, and the weapons still move, but nothing fancy or interesting here at all. And by doing something that's going to make me feel very awkward, you simply push this red piece on the tip here into the back end of the front piece and link them together like this. Just saying. It creates the Super Cybertrollian Train Mode. Whatever the heck that's supposed to mean. But there you go. It's basically the two pieces combined. So even though this thing looks fancy, it's actually quite simple to transform. I just don't feel like doing it for you. For size comparison, here he is against a very tiny Jack from Transformers Prime. And as you can see, he is quite massive. And here he is, standing next to the original Mega Supreme. And he dwarfs him, which is so unfair. Still, if I had to complain more than I already have, I would have liked to have seen the claw the same colors and have a cannon instead of this whatever that's supposed to be. Overall, unfortunately, it is a very nice figure with a lot of detail, and the colors do look really nice. So... If you want a giant plastic paperweight that transforms into a useless train mobile, make sure to get to Year of the Snake, Platinum Edition, Omega Supreme. But if you want to use your money more wisely, buy Optimus Prime toys. Wait, I'm on the bottom of the box?